Hadith 1. Narrated al bara the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, On the day of Eid al-Adha, the first thing we will do on this day of ours is to offer the Eid prayer and then return to slaughter the sacrifice. Whoever does so, he acted according to our sunnah, tradition, and whoever slaughtered, the sacrifice, before the prayer, what he offered was just meat he presented to his family, and that will not be considered as nasuk, sacrifice. On hearing that, Abu Burda bin Niyar got up, for he had slaughtered the sacrifice before the prayer, and said, I have got a six-month-old ram. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Slaughter it, as a sacrifice, but it will not be sufficient for anyone else, as a sacrifice after you. al bara added, The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever slaughtered, the sacrifice, after the prayer, he slaughtered it at the right time and followed the tradition of the Muslims. Hadith 2 Narrated Anas bin Malik, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever slaughtered the sacrifice before the prayer, he just slaughtered it for himself, and whoever slaughtered it after the prayer, he slaughtered it at the right time and followed the tradition of the Muslims. Hadith 3 Narrated Uqbah bin Amr al Juhani, that the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, distributed among his companions some animals for sacrifice, to be slaughtered on Eid al-Adha. Uqbah's share was a jada, a six-month-old goat. Uqbah said, O Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him. I get in my share of jada, a six-month-old ram. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Slaughter it as a sacrifice. Hadith 4 Narrated Aisha, that the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, entered upon her when she had her menses at Sarif before entering Makkah, and she was weeping, because she was afraid that she would not be able to perform the Hajj. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, What is wrong with you? Have you got your period? She said, Yes. He said, This is a matter Allah has decreed for all the daughters of Adam, so perform all the ceremonies of Hajj like the others, but do not perform the tawaf around the Kaaba. Aisha added, When we were at Mina, beef was brought to me and I asked, What is this? They, the people, said, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, has slaughtered some cows as sacrifices on behalf of his wives. Hadith 5 Narrated Anas bin Malik, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said on the day of Nahar, whoever has slaughtered his sacrifice before the prayer, should repeat it, slaughter another sacrifice. A man got up and said, O Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him. This is a day on which meat is desired. He then mentioned his neighbors saying, I have a six-month-old ram which is to me better than the meat of two sheep. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, allowed him to slaughter it as a sacrifice, but I do not know whether this permission was valid for other than that man or not. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, then went towards two rams and slaughtered them, and then the people went towards some sheep and distributed them among themselves. Hadith 6 Narrated Abu Bakra, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Time has come back to its original state which it had on the day Allah created the heavens and the earth. The year is twelve months, four of which are sacred, three of them are in succession, namely Dil Qada, Dul Hijjah and Muharram, the fourth being, Rajab Mudar which is between Jamada, Athani, and Shaban. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, then asked, Which month is this? We said, Allah and his Apostle know better. He kept silent so long that we thought that he would call it by a name other than its real name. He said, Isn't it the month of Dul Hijjah? We said, Yes. He said, Which town is this? We said, Allah and his Apostle know better. He kept silent so long that we thought that he would call it by a name other than its real name. He said, Isn't it the town, of Makkah? We replied, Yes. He said, What day is today? We replied, Allah and his Apostle know better. 
he kept silent so long that we thought that he would call it by a name other than its real name. He said, Isn't it the day of Nahar? We replied, Yes. He then said, Your blood, properties and honor are as sacred to one another as this day of yours, in this town of yours, in this month of yours. You will meet your Lord, and he will ask you about your deeds. Beware. Do not go astray after me by cutting the necks of each other. It is incumbent upon those who are present to convey this message to those who are absent, for some of those to whom it is conveyed may comprehend it better than some of those who have heard it directly. Muhammad, the sub-narrator, on mentioning this used to say, the Prophet then said, No doubt. Haven't I delivered, Allah's, message, to you? Haven't I delivered Allah's message, to you? Hadith 7 Narrated Nafi, Abdullah, bin Umar, used to slaughter his sacrifice at the slaughtering place, that is, the slaughtering place of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him. Hadith 8 Ibn Umar said, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, used to slaughter, camels and sheep, etc., as sacrifices at the Musalla. Hadith 9 Narrated Anas bin Malik, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, used to offer two rams as sacrifices, and I also used to offer two rams. Hadith 10 Narrated Anas, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, came towards two horned rams having black and white colors and slaughtered them with his own hands. Hadith 11 Narrated Uqbah bin Amr, that the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, gave him some sheep to distribute among his companions to slaughter as sacrifices, Eid al-Adha. A kid goat was left and he told the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, of that, whereupon he said to him, slaughter it as a sacrifice, on your behalf. Hadith 12 Narrated al bara bin Azib, an uncle of mine called Abu Burda, slaughtered his sacrifice before the Eid prayer. So Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said to him, Your, slaughtered, sheep was just mutton, not a sacrifice. Abu Burda said, O Allah's Apostle! I have got a domestic kid goat. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Slaughter it, as a sacrifice, but it will not be permissible for anybody other than you. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, added, whoever slaughtered his sacrifice before the Eid prayer, he only slaughtered for himself, and whoever slaughtered it after the prayer, he offered his sacrifice properly and followed the tradition of the Muslims. Hadith 13 Narrated al bara Abu Burda slaughtered, the sacrifice, before the Eid prayer, whereupon the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said to him, slaughter another sacrifice instead of that. Abu Burda said, I have nothing except a jada. Shu'aba said, Perhaps Abu Burda also said that jada was better than an old sheep in his opinion. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Never mind, slaughter it to make up for the other one, but it will not be sufficient for anyone else after you. Hadith 14 Narrated on us, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, slaughtered two rams, black and white in color, as sacrifices, and I saw him putting his foot on their sides and mentioning Allah's name and takbir, Allahu Akbar. Then he slaughtered them with his own hands. Hadith 15 Narrated Aisha, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, entered upon me at Sarif while I was weeping, because I was afraid that I would not be able to perform the Hajj. He said, What is wrong with you? Have you got your period? I replied, Yes. He said, This is a matter Allah has decreed for all the daughters of Adam, so perform the ceremonies of the Hajj as the pilgrims do, but do not perform the tawaf around the Kaaba. Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, slaughtered some cows as sacrifices on behalf of his wives. Hadith 16 Narrated al bara I heard the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, delivering a sermon, and he said, On the day of Eid al-Adha, the first thing we will do on this day of ours is that we will offer the Eid prayer, then we will return and slaughter our sacrifices, 
and whoever does so, then indeed he has followed our tradition, and whoever slaughtered his sacrifice, before the prayer, what he offered was just meat that he presented to his family, and that was not a sacrifice. Abu Burda got up and said, O Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him. I slaughtered the sacrifice before the prayer, and I have got a jada which is better than an old sheep. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Slaughter it to make up for that, but it will not be sufficient for anybody else after you. Hadith 17 Narrated on us, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever slaughtered the sacrifice before the Eid prayer, should repeat it, slaughter another one. A man said, This is the day on which meat is desired. Then he mentioned the need of his neighbors, for meat, and the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, seemed to accept his excuse. The man said, I have a jada which is to me better than two sheep. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, allowed him, to slaughter it as a sacrifice. But I do not know whether this permission was general for all Muslims or not. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, then went towards two rams and slaughtered them, and the people went towards their sheep and slaughtered them. Hadith 18 Narrated Jundab bin Sufyan al Bajali, I witnessed the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, on the day of Nahar. He said, Whoever slaughtered the sacrifice before offering the Eid prayer, should slaughter another sacrifice in its place, and whoever has not slaughtered their sacrifice yet, should slaughter now. Hadith 19 Narrated al Bara, one day, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, offered the Eid prayer and said, Whoever offers our prayer and faces our Qibla should not slaughter the sacrifice till he finishes the Eid prayer. Abu Burda bin Niyar got up and said, O Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him. I have already done it. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, That is something you have done before its due time. Abu Burda said, I have a jada which is better than two old sheep, shall I slaughter it? The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Yes, but it will not be sufficient for anyone after you. Hadith 20 Narrated on us, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, used to offer as sacrifices, two horned rams, black and white in color, and used to put his foot on their sides and slaughter them with his own hands. Hadith 21 Narrated on us, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, offered as sacrifices two horned rams, black and white in color. He slaughtered them with his own hands and mentioned Allah's name over them and said takbir and put his foot on their sides. Hadith 22 Narrated Musruk, that he came to Aisha and said to her, O mother of the believers! There is a man who sends a huddy to Kaaba and stays in his city and requests that his huddy camel be garlanded while he remains in a state of ihram from that day till the people finish their ihram, after completing all the ceremonies of Hajj. What do you say about it? Musruk added, I heard the clapping of her hands behind the curtain. She said, I used to twist the garlands for the huddy of Allah's messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, and he used to send his huddy to Kaaba, but he never used to regard as unlawful what was lawful for men to do with their wives till the people returned, from the Hajj. Hadith 23 Narrated Jabir bin Abdullah, during the lifetime of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, we used to take with us the meat of the sacrifices, of Eid al-Adha, to Medina. The narrator often said, the meat of the Hadi. Hadith 24 Narrated Abu Sa'id al-Qudri, that once he was not present, at the time of Eid al-Adha, and when he came, some meat was presented to him, and the people said, to him, this is the meat of our sacrifices. He said, take it away, I shall not taste it. In his narration, Abu Sa'id added, I got up and went to my brother Abu Qatada, who was his maternal brother and was one of the warriors of the Battle of Badr, and mentioned that to him. He said, A new verdict was given in your absence, that is, meat of sacrifices was allowed to be stored and eaten later on. Hadith 25 Narrated Salamah bin al-Aqwa, 
the prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever has slaughtered a sacrifice should not keep anything of its meat after three days. When it was the next year, the people said, O Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him. Shall we do as we did last year? He said, Eat of it and feed of it to others and store of it, for in that year the people were having a hard time and I wanted you to help, the needy. Hadith 26 Narrated Aisha, We used to salt some of the meat of sacrifice and present it to the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, at Medina. Once he said, Do not eat, of that meat, for more than three days. That was not a final order, but, that year, he wanted us to feed of it to others, Allah knows better. Hadith 27 Narrated Abu Ubaid, the freed slave of Ibn Azhar, that he witnessed the day of Eid al-Adha with Umar bin al-Khattab. Umar offered the Eid prayer before the sermon and then delivered the sermon before the people, saying, O people! Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, has forbidden you to fast, on the first day of, each of these two eats, for one of them is the day of breaking your fast, and the other is the one on which you eat the meat of your sacrifices. Hadith 28 Narrated Abu Ubaid, in continuation of above, then I witnessed the Eid with Uthman bin Affan, and that was on a Friday. He offered the prayer before the sermon, saying, O people! Today you have two Eids, festivals, together, so whoever of those who live at Ulawali, suburbs, would like to wait for the Jumu'ah prayer, he may wait, and whoever would like to return, home, is granted my permission to do so. Hadith 29 Narrated Abu Ubaid, in continuation of above, then I witnessed, the Eids, with Ali bin Abi Talib, and he too offered the Eid prayer before the sermon and then delivered the sermon before the people and said, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him has forbidden you to eat the meat of your sacrifices for more than three days. Hadith 30 Narrated Salim, Abdullah bin Umar said, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Eat of the meat of sacrifices, of Eid al-Adha, for three days. When Abdullah departed from Mina, he used to eat bread with oil, lest he should eat of the meat of Hadi, which is regarded as unlawful after the three days of the Eid.